This is Tom Reardon. What's new in OS 3.2? Well, uh, we're going to be able to analyze conics. Let me show you what I mean by that. I have a parabola here. I can press menu, 6, analyze graph. And you'll notice that number 8 is analyze conics. And just look at that list of things that you can find. And then the nice icons that show you what those things are. So let's say we want to find the vertices of that parabola. So I've selected that. I'll go over here and click on it. And I can click on it, and the vertex will stay there. In this case, there's just one. Um, focal point, menu, 6, 8, both size number 3. And so I'll have one focal point. And got a little crowded, so I'm going to have to graph, grab that text. Pull it up. Um, if I want to find, let's say, the uh, directrix, 6, 8, the directrix is number 5. And notice it actually gives me the line y equals negative 5 halves as a dotted line. So that's for parabola. I've got to find some other things, but let's move on to an ellipse. Um, let's go ahead and analyze this one. Uh, let's find maybe the center of this one. So the uh, center, we point to it, and it looks like it has point negative 2, comma 1. And I think I'll leave that one just go for right now. Uh, analyze graph, uh, conics. Uh, the vertices would be along the major axis, which in this case are 4, 1, and negative 8, 1. What else could I find here? How about the eccentricity? And it's radical 5 over 3, ratio of C to A. All right, let's move on to a hyperbola. And what can we analyze about that? Um, we could find, let's say, the foci, which would be number 3. And I think I'll just plot those. Let's look at the asymptotes also. Number 6. And notice it gives me the equations in slope form. y equals 5, 3 halves x. y equals negative 3 halves x. I'm just going to grab that and pull it away a little bit out of the way there. And also the eccentricity for that maybe. Menu 6, 8. Eccentricity number 8. And eccentricity is radical 13 over 3. Let me see if I can... And there's a, I had a spot there and I lost it. And let's finally go to a circle. A circle will probably be the easiest one. That's why I saved it for last. Uh, if I wanted to find the center, uh, negative 1, 2. And I think at least we'll even find the radius of the circle. Which should be 3. Well, how cute was that, huh? It even shows you pulling it around. And this concludes the video.